Yeah, la, la. Uh oh. Oh, hold up there, Green Bear. Where do you think you're going? I sense trouble coming. Remember that time when you said you didn't have any homework, but you really did? I, uh, vaguely recall something. Remember that time that we had to rehearse for your school play for your big solo? Uh, uh, and you pretended that you were sick with a cold and suddenly couldn't sing? <laughs> I do not recall. Well, this book is a children's book about lying, and it shows why it's wrong to do it and the consequences of it. Consequences? Wow, <laughs> that's a that's a really big word you're using on me there, storyteller. Uh, can I can I go now? I I have to rehearse, you know, for that school play. Um. You know what, let's take a little break and uh, read this book, shall we? Oh boy, okay. All right, a children's book about lying. Because sometimes you get a little wiggly with the truth and it may seem like it's fun or okay, but it's not. This book is about Katie. That's Katie. Hey, Katie! Reading about Katie can help you understand and deal with lying. And then this monster jumped out and... Oh, <gasps> Did you really see a monster jump out? Oh, of course not. I was telling you that story for fun. Phew. Sometimes you make up a story and tell it to other people for fun. An untrue story that is told for fun is called a fantasy, like when I think about winning the lottery. Now, it's okay to tell a fantasy, but it's important to remember that the fantasy is not true. It's also important to make sure that others know it's not true. Now, sometimes you might say something you think is true, then later you might discover that what you said is not true. Now, when you don't know that what you're saying is untrue, that's just making a mistake. It's okay to make mistakes because, well, no one's perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Ah, uh, uh, this, this says that ghosts are not real. I thought they were real. I didn't mean to tell you something that wasn't true. I think ghosts are real scary. Meow. So, so in this case, Big Brother here thought that ghosts were real, and now she's finding out that they're not, but he thought they were, so when he said it, it was a mistake. See, he wasn't trying to lie to her on purpose. Now, sometimes you might purposely tell someone something that is not true. Now, when you do this, you are not telling a fantasy. You are not making a mistake. You are, in fact, lying. Now, lying is trying to make someone believe something that isn't true. It's deceiving or fooling someone on purpose. I think I'll tell my mom I'm sick so she will pay more attention to me. Mom, I'm sick! Hmm, you don't look very sick. Meow. Now, this is an example of the lying. Now, why is it a big deal, you wonder? Lying is not a good thing to do. When you lie, one, you disappoint other people. Oh man, that makes me feel bad. You cause people to wonder if you ever tell the truth. And you cause people to stop trusting you. What? That's a big deal? Oh, I, 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 don't, want, I don't want you to stop trusting me. Well, then you always have to tell the truth. Oh man, I, oh, I gotta think about things. Now, let's go back to Katie. Here's her mom. You don't look sick and you don't have a temperature. Are you telling me the truth? Are you really sick? Say, ah, uh, says the little cat. Now, people who do not trust you might not believe you when you are telling the truth. And that's not good. There are times when you need to have people believe you. So, you shouldn't lie. <coughs> Mom, I'm sick. Look at Katie. Now she looks real sick. The last time you told me you were sick, you were lying. Now I'm not sure whether to believe you, says Mom. Hmm, yes, we don't trust you, says the Meowsers. There are many ways to tell lies. You can tell lies with your actions. You might cause someone to believe something that is not true by acting a certain way. Now you're lying when you do this. Now let's show an example. Oh no, if Mom finds out that I broke her vase, or you could say vase, I say vase, She'll be angry. I'll just throw it away and maybe she'll never know. Sweep, sweep. Now you can tell lies with your silence. 
You might cause someone to believe something that is not true by not saying anything. That's also what grown-ups call a lie by omission. You omit, which means you take out something, which means you don't say anything at all. So when you don't say anything, when, uh, you might be lying this way by not saying something with your silence. For example, mom says, does anyone know what happened to the vase that was on the table? Oh, if I don't say anything, she'll never know that I broke it. Uh, don't you know about the vase? Meow, said the cat of conscience. You can tell lies with your words. That's the opposite of saying it with your silence. Now you can say it with your words. You might cause someone to believe something by saying things that are not true. You are lying when you do this. Now here's a direct approach to this. Mom, do you know what happened to the vase that was on the table in the hall? Uh, no, I haven't seen it for a long time. Ugh, that is a lie, said the cat of great conscience. People, they usually find out when you lie to them, don't they, Green Bear? Yeah, you're really good. Ooh. Katie, please come here. Uh-oh. What do you think mom has just discovered? Try not to cover up a lie by telling more lies. That will only make things worse. Did you do this? <gasps> and sh finally, she wonders, should I tell the truth? What do you think? Do you, should she tell the truth? Tell the truth if you've lied. And make that, that you have lied. Say, I lied to you. This will make things better. Really? Are you sure? It's not going to make things worse? Like you're not going to get even angrier? Well, no, actually, what makes grown-ups really mad is when somebody keeps lying to them because, you know, grown-ups are smart. They sure are. They know everything like you. Well, we don't know everything, but we know a lot of things and we know the truth and we know a lie. So when you lie some more, you get people really upset and then they never want to trust you. Oh... Okay. Ah, now here's Katie. I lied to you when I said I hadn't seen the vase for a long time. Say that you're sorry if you've lied. I'm sorry. Hmm, what a mess. Mom looks sad. Now do everything you can to show that you're sorry, truly sorry that you lied. Don't just say I'm sorry and walk off. Show that you're so sorry about it and don't tell any more lies. How's Katie gonna do to make up for it? She says, I can pay for the vase with the money I got for my birthday. Hmm, no, not a bad idea. See, and that makes mom feel better because it looks like you truly are sorry because obviously she really likes her vase. If you want people to believe and trust you, you can't lie to them. It pays not to lie. No, it sure does. Because, I mean, how would you feel, Green Bear? Wait, if somebody maybe broke one of your favorite toys? No, not my favorite toy. Yeah, what if they did and then they lied about it? Oh, that would make me so mad. Exactly. But what if they admitted that they accidentally broke your toy and that they were really sorry and that they would buy it another toy with their, mm, say, allowance money? Oh, well... I guess that would make me feel better because it was a mistake and they told me that it, there was an accident and they were trying to make me feel bad and fool me. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, lying. No, no, truth is a way to go, kid. Trust me on this. You don't, you don't want to go down the bad path of lying. It only leads to more heartache and pain and disappointment and then nobody will believe you when you're saying the truth and that will drive you crazy. Okay, oh. I'm glad we had this talk. Good talk, Stray Taylor. Good talk. Yeah, good, good talk, Green Bear. Good talk, kid. I hope you learned something. And always stay true and honest, just like us here at Kid Time Story Time.